Okay, welcome to our first Teresa Street webinar of our new season. I'm Emma Martins with Teresa Street. I am the secretary there. And our mission at Teresa Street is to raise money and awareness for organizations doing meaningful and measurable work. I'm so excited to be sitting down with you guys again. Thank you so much for joining us for our second annual 5K. Last year was such a blast and so much success, so I can't wait for this year. Please, let's start by introducing yourselves. Um, all right, I'll start. I am Ashley Coker Pierpont. I am a special education teacher at the high school. My name is John Bro. I'm the lead teacher of special ed at Dartmouth High, and Ashley and I are both involved with our unified sports programs at the high school. Awesome. So this year, our 5K is April 30th, held at the high school again, and all of our proceeds will be going to the unified sports program. Could either of you talk a little bit about what your unified sports program entails at the high school? Yeah, so Unified Sports is just a platform uh, which uses athletics as a base to um, practice inclusion and acceptance. Um, and we have offerings of basketball, track, and then bowling. So our special ed population gets to interact with their regular ed peers like ourselves. Six team in each of the seasons throughout the school year. Um, and it's a fantastic endeavor that just really does bring together the school in an inclusive manner. That's awesome. Which would you say is your most popular season? I I don't I mean, I think track has really big numbers, but our basketball team was pretty enormous this year, too. Yeah. So, I mean, this is something that we talked about last year, too, where our numbers just keep growing and growing every year, which is awesome to see. Um, my I, I have a pretty big class this year and almost every single one of them have been involved in our unified athletics program in some capacity. Um, and then we're just getting more and more partners each year, year too, which has been really, really awesome. That's awesome to hear. So in terms of your basketball, in terms of your basketball, I know you guys were on the news. You guys reached local, local news, right? This season. Um, we made national news. Emma. National. Yeah, there you, you go. Like we were on ESPN in the top 10 plays um, because our very own Austin Santos made a ridiculous half court shot. Um, and it was pretty epic. We had like a lot of, a lot of local news sources come to our games afterwards to interview Austin. He became wow. quite the local celebrity. <laughs> that is yeah. incredible. I did see the video. The video is incredible. We'll have to link it below <laughs> for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. So in terms of learning partners, can you talk a little bit about how that extends from the school hours on to extracurricular as well? Yeah, so with Ashley's class, all of her kids are throughout the school building during, you know, normal school day, and they have peers that accompany them for a lot of classes. So they're called learning partners. And then when it comes to unified sports, those learning partners Many of them have had experiences that they've enjoyed in Ashley's classroom or with those students, and they've made connections, and they're looking for something else. They want that extra piece that goes, like you said, outside of the school day. Um, and Unified Sports is a great opportunity for them because they can be a peer partner or a mentor for some of those students in, in Ashley's classroom. And again, it's it's like we offer track and basketball and bowling, so there are plenty of opportunities for those kids to take the engaging experiences that they've had during the school day and then build something else meaningful outside of school too. Yeah, that's really special. I know that when I was in high school, I was a learning partner and I never got to do the unified sports, but some of my best friends did. And they still to this day are going back and helping out at track meets and stuff like that. So it's really, really impactful. Um, in terms of your unified sports program, can you talk about who you guys compete against, how other neighboring towns are growing, if you're helping out in that aspect? Yeah, the we were really lucky that when Unified was first brought up from the state level uh, eight or nine years ago now, we were kind of like a pilot school in our area. So we've kind of been that first school along with a couple others like Somerset um, and Seekonk. And uh, uh, around us now, we've been able to grow and kind of see the umbrella of Unified schools just grow and, and increase. So um, we're so excited this year that Teresa Street, along with us, are going to partner with the New Bedford Uni Unified Program. Um, we've had such great connections with New Bedford in the past, even you know way beyond 10 years ago when Unified really wasn't a thing. Our Special Olympics teams competed with each other and against each other in certain sports or at events. So it's just really great that we've had these long-lasting connections with New Bedford 
but now we can sort of work together and, and partner with Teresa Street to help their unified programs grow even more too. Um, and they've, they started basketball, I think three years ago, they added track a couple of years back. So it's just awesome that we can all partner together and put on such a great event and see both schools benefit and hopefully grow their unified programs from this. Yeah, definitely. I know that um, we're definitely looking forward to reaching out and working with New Bedford this year. In terms of who you guys compete against, who, what other schools locally do you, what, do you travel? Does everybody come to the high school? How does like a typical track meet run? Yeah, so just like any other sport, you know, varsity athletic, you're, you have a full schedule and you have schools locally that you compete against. And we're no different with Unified, whether it's basketball or track. And um, we're really lucky that you're kind of paired geographically. So this year in track, we have Durfee, New Bedford um, and Middleborough that are kind of like our our little league. In basketball, it was pretty similar. I mean, we had Durfee, New Bedford. Uh, we saw Fairhaven and Old Rochester at one point. So it's really cool just to see that, you know, we started out with what was three or four schools in the South Coast with Unified nine years ago has now really become almost every school has some type of Unified offering, you know, at least one season, which is great. And every year, Dartmouth High hosts the Special, special Olympics, correct? Yes. Yeah. We host the school day games. Um, we have that coming up on May 19th, which is a huge event. One of the the best days of the year. Yes. Um, and we're, we're super excited because we've been holding it at the stadium in Dartmouth, but this year we're going to be bringing it back to the high school. We had tons of teachers and administrators really hoping that we could bring it back to the high school because they love to be involved in the day as well. So now that we're going to be back at the high school, we'll be able to have you know, teachers bring their classes outside to cheer on all of the athletes, not just the Dartmouth athletes, but all of the athletes from all of the local area schools that will be coming. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think that's really special, especially to expose the students to other sort of um, experiences throughout life. Even students who aren't necessarily your partners yet may end up joining because of the exposure. That's incredible. Definitely. So how has our partnership over the last year helped Unified Sports? I know last year we had a very successful 5K the um, Unified Lap was a great success in the beginning and a lot of fun. So how have we been able to help you all? Yeah, it, th this partnership has been incredible for our programs. I mean, it's given us a lot of flexibility to do a lot with our special ed population, not just for Unified. I mean, um, Mrs. KP and Mrs. Capello, uh, Mr. Capello work really hard for a Thursday group. So this Thursday group has gone on for a really long time since I think KP and I were in school. But since um, I, was, I mean, I went on Thursdays and when I was in middle school. So that was like, who knows how long? Yeah. I was going to say, I think my friends used to go like ice skating and you do different things yep. during the day, right? Yeah. Totally. Yep. So they, Capella will take them ice skating. They used to do karate at one point or another. Um, this year, they just went on a field trip to Funzie. So, I mean, we've had now with, with the fundraising efforts from Teresa Street, we've not only been able to enhance some of our unified programmings with um, better equipment or, you know, we're looking at New Jersey's this year and things like that. And it's, it's not that we wouldn't be able to afford them, but this partnership has really allowed us to kind of increase what we offer to our kids. Um, and it's, it's given us flexibility to do some things that, you know, we might have been strapped for cash with doing, whether it's field trips or buses or just activities for these kids. And, um, you know, we uh, brought on Unified PE as a class because this has become so popular. And I think it's just great that we can use Teresa Street as a vehicle to spread what we're doing. And then vice versa, right? We're able to inform people in our school community of the great things that Teresa Street is doing. So collaboratively, it's been awesome. Fundraising wise, it's it's just incredible, the flexibility that it gives our programs. And then this year, you know, I know behind the scenes with Teresa Street, we've been trying to say, okay, how can we grow this endeavor together, right? Through the 5K and being able to bring New Bedford in and, and hopefully having them as a partner now and seeing what they can use this money for, for their programs is so exciting. And I think in terms of not even just money aside, but like allowing the community, I know our our 5K reached local newspapers. So allowing the community to see what our school system is doing in order to keep everything inclusive is really important. And I think that that succeeded in doing that last year. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it continues, especially now that you guys are national news stars. So <laughs> we're gonna look forward to that aspect. Can you talk a little bit about the support from your school systems? How are you guys feeling in terms of how the school helps you? Obviously, you guys get a lot of support, seeing how you're able to do what you're doing. And now you're adding classes into the daily schedules. Yeah, um, 
the support that we have from our like administration has been fantastic. You know, we have a new principal. Ross Tebow was fantastic. He was a huge supporter of um, sort of our special ed endeavors. Um, but we have a unique perspective now because we have um, Mr. Ryan Shea, who is our new principal. He was a former special education teacher. He was also a former learning partner at Dartmouth High School, like myself, like John, like you, Emma. So it's it's really cool to sort of see it come full circle. So now that he is our principal, he's been a huge supporter of sort of all of those those um, endeavors that we're taking on um, with the Special Olympics, with this 5K, with the classes that we're creating. We're also um, in the process of creating an 18 to 22 transition program within our high school. Typically the students, once they um, graduated from my program, they would go into an outplacement we're now working on creating a program within our within our district, within our building to sort of foster that transition from high school into adulthood. So it's another thing, like you said, the importance of community. Creating this, this transition program is going to be huge for our community because our students are going to be going out into the community, whether they're doing job coaching or um, job shadowing or getting paid employment. So yeah, we we have been very fortunate with the support that we've that we've gotten from um, our administration. That's incredible. I know that Mr. Shea has been really supportive thus far in our planning of the 5K, which has helped us to be able to push it to a next level. So we're really hoping to get the community out there to enjoy such an incredible day. In terms of what you guys are looking forward to with the growth of Unified Sports and your Special Olympics coming back to the high school, can you speak on a little bit about what you're most excited to see? I'm, I'm with Ashley. I'm so excited that we're back at the high school. COVID threw a few wrenches in our events, and we're really glad that we were able to pull something off in you know those couple of years where things really did look a lot different. But just being able to be back at the high school, uh, we have seven communities now that come to the Special Olympic School Day game. So it's a massive event. We're pushing just about 500 kids that will be able to celebrate that day. And um, so to be able to be back at the high school is so exciting for us because like Ashley said, it, it, and you've lived it, Emma, it's such a community-based event mm -hmm. that day. And to be able to be back and have that atmosphere, I cannot wait. Like I'm counting down the days until May 19th. I guess I shouldn't say that I'm not excited for the 5K. I think this year we're going bigger and better. So I'm really excited to see what we can pull off. But um, I'm, I can't wait for the 19th. Yeah, I agree. I think that the the Special Olympics Day school games are so incredible to watch. I know I got to work at my senior year. And it's just like nothing moves you more than seeing the kids so excited. Like you don't, you're not excited to go run your lap, but seeing them over the moon <laughs> is like the best feeling ever. Awesome guys. Well, thank you so much. I think we had a really great conversation. I want to thank you both for being here and thank you bo both for doing such meaningful work in our school system. As a fellow teacher, I know that it's not easy and every day is an uphill battle, but <laughs> thank you all. You guys are incredible. Your programs are incredible. Like you said, Miss KP, I went through it. And I loved every second of it. Still fond memories of playing the guitar with my partner, Michaela. <laughs> so I am so thankful for you both. And I look forward to seeing and chatting with you at the 5K. We can't wait. Thanks for having us, Emma. Thank you. Thank you very much.